What is going on right now? What's that? What is going on? <laughs> My fellow Americans, I want to introduce you to the best, most tremendous host of any podcast that has ever happened, the best, the absolute best of all time. And his name is Adam Miner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you so much. Hey. I want um, to welcome you to the best podcast ever, Gospelicious Radio. <laughs> the best, tremendous, amazing. Nice. I, I'm sorry, my Trump, my Trump impression isn't as good as you, buddy. By the way, by the well, way, I don't we'll just have, to, have we'll have to. We'll have to run that first and then kick it to the intro from that. <laughs> That's right. There we go. There we go. That's awesome. That'd be awesome. By, by the way, I also have really quick. I know we're still recording, but I also have uh, I also have this one. Putin. <laughs> I'm spying on you. Oh boy. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry. Anyways, I, in Soviet Russia, car drives you. <laughs> well, as our, as our president was so gracious in doing, uh, we also want to thank you to Gospelicious Radio, yes, episode fifty-three. Yes. Episode 53, yes, praise Episode God. Five, three. We are uh, a couple of dudes just wanting to serve Jesus, and uh, we're spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ one podcast at a time. Amen. I am Adam Miner. Yes. And to my left or right, I'm so confused right now. I'm confused. Right here. We're on <laughs> Zoom. Uh, with me is my, is my great friend, my brother, my pastor, the Reverend. Timothy R. Howard Jr. Amen. Amen. Giddy up, buddy. Amen. Praise God. Hey, and, you, and by the way, you are tremendous. You know, you're, you're you. a tremendous friend. Amazing. The best. The best. <laughs> the best. Only the best for Gaspalicious. Only the best on Gaspalicious. <laughs> yeah, no. I had uh, the honor of having President Trump uh, in uh, in uh, my uh, Fortress of Solitude down here. A little bit different yeah. uh, background uh, than normal. You, you know, know I, I heard the story about how you got him on the show. I heard you just called up the White House and just invited him. Yeah. Apparently, all you have to do is ask. Who would have thought? You got to ask. You know, what does the Bible say? You have not because you ask not, that's you know. Right. And, uh, you know, President Trump, he was, Boom. you know, that's right. You know, I mean, I know all this COVID stuff going on with him. He just, it's amazing. He just took the time out to be here. I mean. He hopped uh, on Air Force One and landed right in the church parking lot. It landed right in the church parking lot, that big giant plane and the, the uh, script that we have for a parking lot he's doing <laughs> <laughs> and then he was willing to come down to the 90s paradise you know of all things you know he and, heard uh, he heard that you have those uh those yeah. arcade machines there yeah, the arcade back. machines the arcade one-ups back here I, yeah he wanted to play some street fighter with you street fighter and mortal Kombat. yeah so mega man <laughs> behind my desk. Got sonic, got sonic 3 right here yeah there you go so, uh yeah so well, guys yeah. we got a phone for you today yes uh, we are going to play a couple games with each other. <laughs> we haven't oh, done that yet. We've done interviews. We've done, you know, some nice uh, theological discussion. And uh, tonight we're just going to, I think we're just going to have some fun. Amen. Not, 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 not that discussing the Bible with you is not fun because it really is. Always, always you, fun. You know that I have a, a great time with you. We have a good time uh, chatting and discussing things. But uh, tonight we're going to, we're going to, uh, we're going to just uh, play some games. Amen. Game plan, brother. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Play some games. Yeah. This is episode fifty-three. Uh, we are very, uh, very grateful that you guys have decided to watch and to listen. Uh, we're going to try our best for those of you who are on audio to actually kind of describe what we're doing because we're actually going to be playing some uh, visual kind of games here. Yeah. So if you're listening, uh, you know, feel free to to watch on YouTube as well. We're going to have the YouTube video up alongside the podcast. So. Be sure to subscribe uh, and like. Yes. yes, subscribe, like, share. We'll get in all the socials at the end. But yes, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Amen. YouTube, all of that stuff. So <laughs> spread the gospel. It's just word, guys. Amen. <laughs> so first of all, I wanted to ask you, uh, before we get into the games, we're, we're going to do that. Um, how was your week? 
My week, uh, it was good. Uh, still stressful because of COVID, uh, but thankfully, uh, it seems like there is a little light at the end of the tunnel here in Connecticut, which is always a positive thing. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, those who are listening who are in Connecticut uh, or in the area know that May 20th is the date that the governor is set for uh, the first phase of the reopening process. And, uh, and again, he's been very nebulous as far as churches are concerned. But to be honest with you, I'd rather have him be a little more nebulous than strict, as it is in other states, unfortunately. And so uh, while it's a little more confusing, um, I'm thankful he's kind of staying out of the church's business as a good old Baptist. I believe in separation of church and state. So you know what? Hey, um, but all that to say, uh, church is doing good. Uh, Adam and I were just talking about it before we went live and uh, family's doing good. Just kind of just taking it uh, day by day. How about you, brother? How was your week? Doing good. Doing good. You know, I, we, uh, we had a great time at the, uh, the Mother's Day drive-in service. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, that was awesome. Um, we were able to, to to worship God together as a church family, even though we were kind of, you know, we we're just in our cars. But um, it's uh, it's it's so weird. <laughs> it's so it's still weird, you know, uh, not walking into that sanctuary, you know. Uh, it's it's been almost two months now, and it's like it, when we finally get back in there, it's gonna feel like your home but at the same time it's going to feel like a strange place because it's like you, you get so used to going there right. and when, when you don't for such a while a long time you, you kind of have to you know and I've, and I've gone back to do a couple olympians things just to like print something or to uh, right. grab something out of the olympians room or something but so I, I i have walked through the sanctuary a few times since but um it just it's different when you're just by yourself and alone you know like it, it's completely different so I'm really looking forward to that time we could get back together. Yeah, me too. Man. Know, but the kids are doing good. Um, school's going okay. Um, our youth group is uh, finishing up here in the last three weeks, in the, in the next three weeks here. Um, we've got, I think we're ending in the beginning of June. So um, right. we're doing video lessons with that. So a few more things to record. But other than that, we're kind of wrapping up here. And then after that, we're getting into VBS season. We're going to see where that goes. But right need to yeah. make a decision soon on that and yeah. uh, decide exactly what we're doing uh we're doing vbs one way or the other we're going to do it either uh either physically or we're going to do it online and and uh be a different way of doing it but uh it'll one be way or another the gospel's going to go out man the gospel's going to go out so praise god for that it's a very yep. vital ministry so exactly exactly well i'm glad you're good but hey you know it's kind of fitting that you're in your in your 90s paradise there i know i know the because uh dude 90s paradise yeah we're gonna play a couple of games couple boy. Of games. that's right amen you ready to have some fun oh i oh i i was ready i was ready absolutely oh, you, you was ready <laughs> oh i'm ready <laughs> So well, no, I'm, in, I'm in my different I'm in my different zone over here. So I'm so I know I'm like zooming in in here. And I'm getting distracted with other things, but I am looking forward to it. What, what's what, what's our first game, my man? Our first game, yeah, is a, a very interesting game that will test your wits. It will test your knowledge. It will test your know-how. It's going to test. Quite frankly, it might test our friendship. Going to test our friendship, huh? I don't know about that. We're yeah, gonna see that, you the, We're gonna see you know? just how how serious you are about me. Oh. And how serious <laughs> I am about you. I mean, oh, okay. we're gonna find out here. We're gonna find out here in just a second, I guess. Yeah. We're we're gonna we're about to do some iron sharpening some iron here. Iron sharpens iron. It's called know your bro. Know your bro. Know, know your bro. There we go. Know your bro. Now yeah. The rules of this game are simple. We each are armed with a Sharpie Yay. and a notepad, Note piece of paper. Yes. Now, the, 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 uh, just basically kind of like a, I, I called it Know Your Bro just because it's weird to call it the dating game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be a little weird. Yeah, it's a little yeah. weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So basically, the, the object is to have matching answers, okay? So, yeah. We're going to ask each other questions about ourselves, and your job is to try to guess the right answer. Okay. All right. And I'm going to, so for example, uh, say I will ask you a question about myself. You yeah. will write down what you think is the correct answer. I will write down the answer. 
and we will hold up our uh, pads and we will match our answers. And if you get the question right, you get a point. All right. That's well, as simple like, as it is. Sounds like a game. Are you going to keep track of the, the, the point score there, my man? Yeah, I'll keep track of the points. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. And uh, we'll end whenever it seems like it's either, you're either getting out of hand or we're just running out of time. <laughs> Sounds good, brother. Sounds good. good. All right. Forward. So, so let me just uh, do that right there. Okay. Now, since uh, – do you want me to go first? You go first. Okay. Now, we're going to start with what I, what I think is an easy one. What I think – hopefully it's an easy one because I've talked about this a lot. So I'm going to be kind of offended if you get this wrong, just so okay. the pressure's on. Okay? Just a little offended. Yeah. All right. I want you to write down my favorite movie. Oh, yes. All right. Hang on a second. Okay. Got a couple of seconds here. You writing down the answer there? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I got it. You all, good? All yep. Okay. So now I will go first. I will reveal okay. what the answer is, and then you will reveal your answer to see if you got it right. You ready? Sounds good. Yes. The answer is? The Matrix. <laughs> the Matrix. He's got the Matrix. Yes. Okay. And would you like to see what I wrote down? I would. All right, here we go. Oh, look at you. I know Kung Fu. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you appreciate that. <laughs> as, uh, as, as Apollo Creed says in Rocky, ding, ding. Ding, ding. That's <laughs> Good job. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, so now it's your turn. All right. Uh... Now, now you can you can either stick with the same subject, or you can uh, uh, change whatever subject. You can make it whatever question you want. You know, yeah, uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the same subject matter, but um, but I'm gonna I, I'm gonna change the question just a little bit. Uh, what is my favorite childhood TV show? Childhood TV show. I'm going to write it down, all right? Okay. Here we go. Childhood TV show. Oh, man. I remember this. Why do I feel like there were a few of them to choose from? There was a few that I liked, but there was, there's, oh, one, no. uh, there's okay. one that kind of sticks out. Childhood TV show. I won't be offended. Okay. But, I, but I, think, I, have, I have a good one I think is kind of safe. I think, I, think, I think you know it. I think you know it. You're putting you're putting a lot of faith in me, man. I'm gonna fail you here. I'm hoping I'm hoping I don't fail you. Oh, no, no. Uh, okay. All okay. Right. Mm. All right. You want me to reveal it? I feel like I'm missing an obvious one here, but I'm gonna go with. Uh, it's. Uh, okay. I, you, you, you go, first, you go. You go All right. first. So, go go Power Rangers. Oh, 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 oh. man. <laughs> no, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got it. You knew it. You didn't see the Green Ranger back here? In my uh, <laughs> Power Rangers, man. I know. It, it, had, know. To it had to have been. I got to, I, I know I'm, I know I'm down here, but uh, yeah, I got, uh, yeah, I had Green Ranger up here and then I got the White Ranger and uh, I was going to ask what my favorite movie was, but I think everybody already knows what that is as well. You know what I mean? <laughs> got the Stormtrooper stuff, so. It's kind of anyway, hard. It's yeah. kind of hard to, uh, kind of hard not to uh to have that as an answer i mean you, you have to it's, it's it's star wars it has to be it's got to be star wars it's always star wars it's you know? always the star wars <laughs> the star wars you know but um, um you, you're, okay. you're next. we're gonna get into some harder ones now i apologize to everybody this thing keeps like falling over here but yeah so what's that what's the next one there man my man um what is my favorite superhero. Mm. Well, this one's probably a little easier. That, oh, my word. It's a good question. It's a very good question. And I think it'll be good for our listeners. But I know, I know what your favorite superhero is, my man. Yeah. And we're, we're starting off with a couple of softballs here. A couple softballs here. Going to work on that Sharpie. Oh, yes. Okay. Go ahead, my man. Ready here? Oh, yes. I'm ready. Oh, yes. I Superman. Kind of. 
I've got the New England Patriots uh, Superman shirt going. And you got the New England Patriots. There you go. There you go. And of course, there it is. Nice. Superman. That's right. Nice logo. All right. All right. Can I ask a real quick question before we move on? What was your favorite Superman movie of all time? Was it, uh, you know, uh, you know, I mean, Christopher Reeves era, and which one? Was it uh, the Henry uh, Cavill? Uh, is that how you? Uh, Cavill, how you yeah. Henry Cavill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I I think I liked Superman one and two, the Reeves version. Right. Those might be the best ones. I, there were parts of Superman Returns I really liked. Yes. There were some parts that I really hated. Yeah. Who was who played Superman in Superman Returns? Uh, Brandon Routh. Brandon Routh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. He, was he, he, he was actually a good Superman. It was just the story was terrible. The story was bad. Yeah. Superman Returns was was just a yeah. I think he I think he did good uh, keeping on with the uh, the the uh, Christopher Reeves tradition in that story arc. But yep. then then there, then there was Superman three. I think it was with Richard Pryor. Yeah, that it was, was more of a comedy. Yeah, that was more of a comedy. But yeah, that was but, okay. Four was awful. I I I. I I think of Superman 4 as the Superman movie that shall not be named. <laughs> yes, so. yes, Superman 4, that's right. I forgot okay. about that, you know, but <laughs> So, all right, my question is since you brought up football and we're both from New England, what is my favorite football team? What is my football team? Hmm. I'll write it down. Okay. All right. I remember you saying this in a few of your sermons, so I think I have this right. <laughs> I know. I always, yeah. Go ahead. Well, yeah. Yeah. The New York Giants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he got it. That's right. You know? Yeah. And, and I always have to bring that up because, again, I have been a Giants fan since the 90s. and And I'll be honest with you. You know, I should be a New England Patriots fan, and I almost years ago, and I don't forget if it was when we were in middle school or in high school. You remember when the when the Patriots were supposed to move to Hartford? Yeah, yeah. Remember that whole debacle? And yeah. uh, and I I said if they move to Hartford, they're my team. They didn't move, but we saw that one coming from a long distance away. But I was too stupid. I was too hopeful for it. <laughs> that but, happened like a year and a half before Tom Brady arrived. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Because that was right in the midst of the Drew Bledsoe era, right when Tom Brady was about to take over. Right. And I remember that. I remember that. I was in high school when that happened. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I, yeah. I, I was. I was a big fan of uh, the Giants uh, in the Tiki Barber era. Era. You know. And uh, that was. Uh, that was kind of my. Uh, that was kind of my thing. And. Nice. Uh, but nice. Anyways. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyways. All right. Yeah. Um, I have one for you. Yes. What was my favorite? Whoa, oh, 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 oh. okay. Whoa, oh, oh. I, I need to specify this because no, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go for it. Sounds what is cool. my favorite non-animated TV show of all time? Favorite non-animated TV show of all time. Boy, oh boy, that is a toughie non-animated tv show of all time hmm. i'm gonna i'm gonna make a i'm gonna make a guess i'm gonna make a guess here i'm pretty sure i know what it is all right because you know i have a few that could possibly be the answer i, I, I know there's a few that it could possibly be i may get this wrong but uh i might fail you on this one but i'm pretty okay. sure I'm, I'm pretty sure i'm right okay you ready Yes. Ah, oh, lost. I got this one wrong, dude. Oh, no. No. Ooh. The office. I know, probably a close call on that one, but is that a close call? I know you it's love the office. office. Yeah. The office is easily in my top three. Easily. Yes. Yes. You know. It's, no. It, it, I mean, it could even be like one A, one B. Yeah. You but know. No. Lost, lost, man. Lost changed everything for me like I was that was the show I don't think I've ever uh followed a show like I did lost like yeah, that was I, like you could not miss an episode with that you know it was it was an experience like I never had watching a show I you know is it on Netflix 
Uh, or Hulu or one of those? One of those, yeah. It streams on one of them. I'm going to find it because, believe it or not, I have never I have never watched an episode of Lost. Not once. I know. Mind blown. I've never watched any. I don't even know what the premise is. It's a wild I, ride, thinking, dude. What's that? It's a wild ride. I, I'm going to have to get into it because, again, I, I – because uh, you and I have very similar tastes, and I'm sure yeah. that I love it, you know? And, Here's the thing, though. Uh, it's such a divisive show. You might hate it. <laughs> well, you know, who knows? I, you the, know, show, the show kind of went off the rails a little bit toward the end. Oh, did it? Because it played with time in a weird way. Oh, yeah. That's what I'll say. And then it played with, like, reality in a different way. It was kind of weird, but... Okay. It, uh, dude, it was... The show was wild. It... And watching it on TV was a different experience because you had to wait like eight months between seasons. Right. So the cliffhangers were so crazy wild. You're like, that's it? What? <laughs> I got to wait eight months See, for this? That's what makes it a good show. You know what I mean? Even having kind of like an oddball off the end, you know, off the, off the reservation kind of, uh, you know, thing. Like, that's what makes it a memorable show. You know what <laughs> I mean? <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, it was like, it was like in, in the nineties, I not to compare and contrast, but like like with Family Matters, right? Now now TGIF, I watched TGIF every Friday night. Did you watch TGIF? Yes. yes. It was what was it? It was Family Matters. It was uh, step by step. Step by step. Boy uh, Meets World. Boy Meets World was on there, I think. Family yep. Matters. There was there was four shows. Oh yeah. Oh man, I'm trying to remember what the other one was. I know step by step had the roller coaster intro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Second time. <laughs> <around>. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome for that. Yes, yes. Uh yeah. Step by step. <laughs> Every one of those shows had had a had, you know, yeah. that same person singing, you know what I mean? But anyway. <laughs> You know, but anywho, uh, you know, good but, stuff uh, though, man. Good stuff. Yeah, it's good stuff. Good. good I mean, stuff. your turn. All the right, score, my turn. The score, uh, the score, by the way, is two to two. Oh, okay. All right, excellent. Two to two. So, um, give me a hard one. I'm gonna give you a hard one. Um, let me, let me, let me think of a good hard one for a second. Um, all right. Uh, well. This is kind of an easy one, I guess. Well, I, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me think about my hard one, because I had one in mind. Coke or Pepsi? Ooh. Ooh, okay. Coke or Pepsi? I'm going to write it down. Oh, man. Okay. I'm very particular. All right. Now, again, I do have a favorite. I'm just giving those two as an example. I have a favorite soda of all time. You know what I mean? But, uh, but just Coke or Pepsi. Okay. All right. You ready for this? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Coke. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Got the Coke. Oh, you see that? He got it. Uh, yes, I am a Coke man. Very much. Coke Very Coke. much. Because you yeah. got to have your Cokes. Got to have the Coke. I, I, you know, again, it was, uh, I actually technically am a diet Coke guy, but I kind of put that, cause that, but that's something that I developed as I got older. So, uh, <laughs> older and concerned more with calories. Uh, I won't, but, I won't ask about my favorite soda, but I'm actually a Pepsi guy. You're a Pepsi guy. Very good. I enjoy that. I, like, I enjoy that. I, yeah, like, I like diet Coke, but I, if I had to choose between one and the other, I, I'm, I'll probably take a diet Pepsi. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, it depends. I have to be in the mood. I, I don't have a, any, like, major, like, problem with Pepsi. You know mm. what I mean? Like, but I, because I'll drink it. But uh, if I had my preference, if you, put a, if you put a Diet Pepsi or a Diet Coke in front of me, Diet Coke. Yeah. Yeah. But, okay. Yeah. I got one for you. All right. What is my favorite video game of all time? Ooh, favorite video game of all time. Hmm. Favorite video game of all time. Oh, man. Man. Wait, 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 wait. I, I, wait a minute. Can, can I just, can I just look at something really quick? Mm -hmm. You know, again, yep. yeah, I only have 30 seconds. Hang on just a second. You're cheating? What are you doing over there? I, I got, oh man, I, I know which one it is too. And I'm cheating. <laughs> you know which one it is. You've mentioned this to me a million times. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. Ah! 
Oh, wait, you know, oh, it's like, it's, and I should know this because I'm a Nintendo guy. Ah, oh, man, I don't know. I'm going to write it down really quick. Captain, I, oh, wait, I'm sorry. Man. I'll get, I'll tell you this. It's actually, you, you can say one of two and it would be okay. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. I, I have, I have two right at the very tippity top that are like one A, one B. So you can either pick one of the, I'll give you two options. Two options. All right. Well, that's, you know, I have to remember that because I'm gonna have to give you two options for one of the other ones. But anyways. You don't have yeah. to. I'm just being a nice guy. Yeah. You're being a very nice guy. I know, very, right? very generous. <laughs> Are you so, ready yeah, to answer? I'm all set. I'm, I, I think I got it wrong, but. Oh, yeah. Super Mario 3. But see, here, here, this is what I wrote. I, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking Captain Skyhawk. I put Captain Cobra. No. That's what I was looking for. That's the game I was thinking. Captain and uh, yeah, but, but I got it wrong, though. I got that, it wrong. That is incorrect. Okay. Incorrect. 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 Oh, you see that? Captain Skyhawk. That was a great game, though. Great it's game. Super Mario 3, for that matter. But. Super Mario 3 is, is it's right up there. Captain Skyhawk, though, I think I've played that game. It's right up there with Mario Kart and Mario 3. Those are the games I've played the most of in my entire life. Mario 3 is uh, is an amazing one. Matter of fact, I got going on over here. I got, uh, I think I, I know I've showed you this before. I got uh, Super Mario 3 Mix, which is that, oh, yeah, there's Captain Skyhawk. Oh, yeah. There it is. <laughs> you know what's amazing is that that was made by Milton Bradley, wasn't it? Yeah. That, that Milton Bradley was the oh, one, what? you know, that, that produced it. It wasn't LJN. It wasn't Nintendo. It was it was Milton Bradley. You know what yep. I mean? The great toy maker. Right. So, um, all right. So, here's a question for you that you should know, uh -oh. but and I'd be ashamed of you if you don't. Oh no. Uh, of all of the Star Wars trilogies, uh, which one is, uh, well. Let, let me let me back up the truck because that's this is too easy. You already you already know the answer to that question. I was going to ask you which one is my most hated. Okay. You already know which one that is. I so think I do. What, the the most hated of all of my trilogies of of all three trilogies. The most hated trilogy or the most hated movie of the nine, or the eleven. Let, let's let's go with let, let's go with uh the most hated trilogy uh the most hated movie of all nine star wars movies which one do i hate the most of the nine or the 11 including the extent like the rogue one and uh of any star wars movie let's just go with any star wars movie of all time most hated hated okay uh I don't know the answer to this all right mm, okay hmm okay mm. I have it down. Uh, I think I have it narrowed down to two because <laughs> it's a close call. Because you know, you know my uh, my opinion on uh, on some of these. Because I've heard you, I've heard you an, completely <laughs> annihilate these movies. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, and, okay. Um, All right. Shall um, I share? Yeah. Go. All right, it's got to be, and I know it receives a lot of hate, but it is The Last Jedi. Okay, okay. And, uh, yeah. All right. With a yeah, close uh, second being The Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, I think, okay. <laughs> yes. The Last Jedi. See, he got it. He got it. Yes, yes, yes. I, we, we, we've had some discussions about this. Right. And see, here's the deal, is that I loved The Force Awakens. It, it, I, Force Awakens was, I think, probably one of the best Star Wars movies out of all of them. To be completely frank, sure, with you. it's up there. I, it, it, I, I don't think it, I don't think it ranks as high as the originals. No, but, uh, but it, the, it's, uh, it's the, I think it's the second best one of the new ones. Right. I think Rogue One is the best yep. out of all of them. Easily, and Easily. Uh, followed closely by uh, 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 Force Awakens. Yep. Followed next by Solo. Yep. I, Solo was a really good movie, too. I know that, that receives a lot of hate. But then, uh, out of all the new ones, uh, although I will say this, uh, not to be whatever, and I know that this isn't the point. We should have a whole Star Wars discussion one night. But Mandalorian, the whole, I know it's not a movie, but I know it's part of it. 
trumps all of them. Dude, Mandalorian is is amazing. It Red is Martin Star Wars awesome. now. You know, awesome. Uh, it's awesome. I was talking with with somebody from the church. <laughs> uh, I won't mention his name on here, but he's a big Star Wars guy. But he has yet to see the Mandalorian. Uh, he refused because he he did not care for the the. Uh, I know you see. <laughs> For those of you who are listening, Adam is making a, a, a face of shock, awe, and disgust all at the same time, clutching, clutching his chest. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it's true. Who has not seen The Mandalorian? Come on. It's amazing. And because he was so disgusted with Last Jedi and with, and with Rise of Skywalker, he didn't give The Mandalorian a chance. And I said, I said listen. This is coming from somebody who is not a fan of The Last Jedi or Rise of Skywalker. Mandalorian is Star Wars now. It is, it is Star Wars. And Season two is shaping up even better, too. Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait. It's John Favreau is doing amazing things. But anyways, yes. They're, they're incorporating some Clone Wars characters like Ahsoka Tano and like uh, there's another one that I forget the name of now. Right, um, yeah. and uh, Boba yeah. Fett or Jango Fett is going is going to no, be no, no. on there. Boba, Boba Fett's going to be it. Well, the guy that yeah. played Jango Fett, who is a clone, and yeah, yards yeah. from that's going to be cool, man. That's one of the things I appreciate about the Mandalorian is that they incorporate all of Star Wars into it, mm. in, you know, prequels, sequels, okay. everything. You know what I mean? Which is great. But all right, uh, I got I got a little I got a toughie for you. Oh yeah, yeah. Go right ahead, my man. Next round, you ready? Yes. I see the little arcade cabinet behind you. Oh yes. We're gonna go with a Street Fighter Two themed question. Ooh. Who is my favorite character to play as in Street Fighter 2? Ooh, that's, that's a tough call because there's some classics there. I, I think you've told me this before. Let me think about that. Or, or you know what? I'll reword this. Who has been my favorite through my – from childhood to now? Because it, it's kind of fluctuated in recent years, but I'm thinking of, like, my, my classic favorite character that I've always played as, like, as a kid growing up. Right. Huh. And gonna, here's the thing. This might be kind of an unfair question because I don't know if I've shared this with you. I don't think you've told me this before. I'm going to make an educated guess, though, because I think uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my one answer, but then I'm going to put a secondary answer that doesn't count. Is that all right? Sure. All right. So He's writing furiously. All right. Are you ready? Okay, you, yeah, you got to go first, yeah. Okay, here we go. Yes. Oh, yes, I got it. Number one, Blanca. I, I guess Ryu second, but nice. Blanca, yes. Well done, sir. <laughs> Blanca well done. was amazing. He was, you know, you, you know what would always, I, I loved him because, again, he was like the mutant and, you know, with the long, like, orange hair and the green. And, and what was worse, though, is when you had to play as somebody fighting a Blanca against Blanca and play as Blue Blanca. I know. You know, I for like that, like Mustard Blanca. <laughs> you remember? Mustard colored Blanca. <laughs> Safety green Blanca. My, yeah. my, I had yeah. two favorite things I loved about Blanca. One yeah. was I always used to frustrate my younger brother whenever I'd play as Blanca because yeah. I knew how to do the electricity move. Oh, that. So yeah. Whenever, whenever yeah. he would come close to me, I'd go and zap him. And you look like that, you know, like in the cartoons when you get zapped by electricity, you turn to a skeleton a little bit. Yeah. It's like, yes. you turn, like you flash like a skeleton. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I, I, drove him, I drove him insane with that move. <laughs> and the second That's thing amazing. was his victory noise. Do you remember oh, that? Wait, what was it? What was it again? I should know that. I have it on the background here. Yeah. yeah. When, what, when yeah. he was like, Branca wins. Yeah. <laughs> he'd, he'd go, like a dog. <laughs> I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Yeah. I, know it. I have it on right here. I and I would drive, I would drive him crazy because I'd go, aroom, aroom. <laughs> <laughs> so one, one time my, my dad walked in on me and Keith when we were playing that game. And he, he um, Keith beat him with Ryu. Oh, okay. And so yeah. my dad, my dad, he, he, he latches onto jokes. If he, if he finds something hilarious, it's yeah. hilarious for the rest of his life. Okay. So like, yeah. Yeah. he said, you know, what? Yeah, that announcer was just kind of like this. He would yeah. talk in little, you know, like little. Oh sentences. yeah, that's <laughs> right. Ryu. So, win. Yeah, exactly. So like when Ryu would win, he, the, the announcer would say, Ryu wins. 
And so my dad heard that. He thought that was the funniest thing. He started laughing. Oh, to this day, to this day, if there's anything that's like a contest between two people or if someone, yeah. you know, if he witnesses someone beating someone at basketball or like a golf shot, <laughs> they'll say, Ryu wins. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> Oh, too that's funny. amazing that's awesome nice job man that's great yeah that's great i th i thought it was blank i you know because i was just thinking about that i i don't know but anyways yeah no that's okay. great uh, uh the, the current score is four to three. Oh, me yo he win he win that's so far great. so far yeah you know let's... This is the, i think these these are the ones now where i think we're gonna have to get into like really difficult like i almost really have to guess territory. And, and, and difficult uh yeah deeper questions now let me think of a let me think of a good one uh i think um all right uh a couple different things i think i've told you this before but uh do you know the model and make of my first car i know i've mentioned this to you before do you rem do you recall i won't ask you the year but the model and make of of my first car i believe i've told you this before i know it's a little more difficult okay. maybe i've told you i don't know i uh -huh. may have mentioned it briefly but Ooh. model and make i'm gonna write it down okay um I got to go with my gut here. Yep. Because I feel like I might be wrong though. You, you might. You 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 might you might not. I won't hold it again. Uh, it's mm, Okay, I'm going to go for it here. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right. My first car was a 1979 Ford F150. Yes. <laughs> that was my second guess. I know. Hey, hey, <laughs> my first car, Ford Bronco. Yes, very close. No, I never owned a Bronco, but I always wanted a '79 Bronco. For some and, reason, it was a yeah. '70s era Bronco. That was my. Yeah, yeah very close. You know, you actually, <sighs> uh, a gentleman in our church. Again, I won't. I I got to be careful naming names, but the uh, a gentleman in our church, young man, has a '78 uh bronco that i really 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 like and uh and he uh yeah and so i drove by his house the other day I, I, and i don't know if he listens but uh if you do you know who you are you have like a 78 ranchero sitting in your ranchero was like the ford answer to the el camino okay like our truck you know what i'm talking about and uh mm -hmm. so he's got one of those in his yard but uh but nice. yeah 79 ford f-150 Oh, well, close, very close. very close. Okay, all right. So, are we tied now? We, uh, no, I, the no points have been awarded for oh, that. No round. points have been awarded. Okay, all right. Yeah, so, so I gotta still, earn one. still four to three. Right now is your time to catch up, though. All right, let's see. Let's see. This is for the tie. The okay, tie. I'll, I'll, let's play first one to five. First one to five. Yeah, here we go. Yes. Okay. Right now, well, right now? It's, it's easy for me to say being up four to three. But. Yeah, that's true, but that's okay. Yeah, right. but yeah. Let's just call, let's let's call it. Uh, all right. If if you get this next one, we'll say the next point wins. Okay, sounds good. Okay. What is my favorite ice cream? Ooh, ooh. All right. I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make a. Uh, I'm gonna make an educated guess here. I'm probably gonna get this wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. All right. You ready? All set, my man. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Cookies and cream. There we go. <laughs> I do, by the way. Yeah. And, you know, not to, that's not going to be my next question, but, but cookies and cream has always been my favorite, you know? Same here. You I, know? I, I love me some Oreo, man. But, but the thing is this, is that you can't buy, you got to buy like the, uh, like the Briars or the ones that have like a ton of like the Oreo cookies in them. Like the, the better. There is, there is nothing worse than buying cookies and cream ice cream and then it all being vanilla ice cream. You know what I mean? False it, advertising. Yeah. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Have an Oreo brand cookies and cream, which is actually quite good too. I, I, yeah. I've had that. That's delicious. It's super chunky. Delicious. Mm, mm, mm. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Magnifique. Chef's kiss. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was, are you part Italian or, uh, or uh, you know? I'm a little Italian. A little, little <laughs> Italiano. And, uh, you gotta you know, talk like I, this, like you're holding up, yeah. you're like you're pinching, you're pinching the pen. <laughs> you gotta do a little pinch. <laughs> a little bit of pinch. Uh, yeah, the know. cookies and the cream. <laughs> okay. Get a little cookies and cream. Uh, you know. <laughs> So I got I got one for you. Uh, Just for the win. For the win, and this is going to be a little bit more of a tough one. Okay. But I think I've said this to you before. Okay. If there is one thing that I could do, besides be a pastor, one occupation, one job that I could do besides be a pastor, what would it be? Okay. So let me let me ask you to specify. Um, one job that you would want to do or one job that you think you are able to do <laughs> <laughs> well the, my the, the job the job that i the job that i that i have in mind is is so simple that i think anybody can really do it but the uh but no one one job that i would enjoy doing uh if i could not be a pastor i love being a pastor i i i it is my number one job but okay. if for some reason i couldn't be a pastor if uh, whatever, you know, and I could do one other thing, what would it be? Okay. All right. Um, you probably know this. I think so. I'm going to go with what I know. Go with my gut. All right. Go ahead. Shall I go? Yes. All right. Okay. <laughs> It runs in my veins, custodian or janitor. When I was a kid, where that comes from is because, uh, you know, my grandfather and my dad had a cleaning business. And I used to help them when I was a kid. And there's just something about it that I enjoy. But anyways. Well, it turns out that um, I know my bro. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you got it. So you so 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 is that the number five? That's five. That's five. All right. Excellent. Very oh, good. You now, my bro. Adam wins. Adam hey. wins. No, I was getting. I got my grunts mixed up. I was thinking of Tim Allen. The uh, <laughs> the other day, just to let you all know, today today's a fun episode. The other day, I was I, I go for like a daily walk from the church building to our to our cemetery, which is like a half mile up the road. And, and so I, I, I found in our cemetery from the 1800s, a Tim Allen on a gravestone. And so I text, I text Adam a picture of it and then, and, and then send him a gif of Tim Allen going, like rest in peace, Tim Allen. <laughs> rest in peace to a man. The tool man, yeah. That's uh -huh. right. Did you did you hear? By the way, we were. <laughs> this is probably too much information, but uh, uh, yeah. we're, well, we're we're having fun here. So at the beginning of the prayer meeting that we had earlier tonight, yeah, we're, we're recording this on Wednesday night. By the way, yeah, I wasn't wondering. Um, we have a, a Zoom online prayer meeting every Wednesday night. Yeah, so he's telling he's telling what he just he's telling uh, our our congregation that tuned in. <laughs> What he, what you, what you guys just heard about him finding a Tim Allen gravestone yeah. <laughs> in the graveyard, and uh, I'm not even sure if you heard me at all. I'm not even sure if I unmuted myself, but I let out a. Uh? <laughs> no, I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. <laughs> I must have accidentally muted myself because I got no. I was so embarrassed because I got no reaction from it. No, you you were probably muted. <laughs> I had no reaction. People were stone faced. I'm like, you know. Uh? Uh? I was like, did no one either? Either no one heard hear me? me? No, I didn't hear you. I didn't or, hear you. At all. Or even worse, I thought that people heard me and thought I was an idiot. <laughs> ah, that's amazing. What's this guy doing? Uh? If I would have, if I would have heard that, I, you know, I would have made a comment. You know, I mean, well, you you would have grunted back at me. So that would have been. Would've, you know, I would have. Uh, 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 more power. Huh? <laughs> that's amazing. That's awesome. All right, you ready for the next game? All right, yes, ready for the next game. The next game, cool. and I'm so prepared that I'm writing down the title. Writing the down game. the title, yes. Right now. Very good. 
It is called, you ready for this? Mm -hmm. This is awesome graphics right here. Our second game is called Bible Pictionary. Oh, yeah. Ooh, with a firework. You see that? The firework. That's, that's, that's artistry right there. That is this, this, the, this is the taste of what's to come for you, my friend. Right. Yes, <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Now, there's a different couple or a different couple. There are a couple different ways we can approach this game, okay? Right. We can, we can say the subject and then draw something. Or we can just draw anything and have it. This the hard, that's the easier way. Draw a subject and then draw um, something that the other person has to guess within that subject of, of the Bible, right? Okay, all right. Or, or we can do uh, anything goes, which is a little harder, but we it, it can either be a situation, a Bible character, a verse. It could be, um, you know, anything like that. It can be all encompassing, and that's harder. But that would be like the the the. I guess the more complicated way to play it, or we can narrow it down to just a category. Uh, yeah, um, I'm I'm game for going all all out, brother. You know what I mean? Just anything <laughs> in the scripture. You 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 are you game? You want to go all out with me, huh? Go all out, out uh, you know. So basically, you basically, want to go all basically, out with me, son? Oh huh? uh, yeah, yeah. You know. So basically, you have to draw a picture of something from the scriptures, and then you have to basically say you know what that is the other so wanna, you know we can narrow it down to why don't we narrow it down to this rather than concepts let's narrow it down to like narratives and what i mean by that is uh characters like stories, stories. stories in the scripture let's okay. let's narrow it down to that here's the here's the here's the uh this is going to be the, the difference though okay yeah we only have 20 seconds to draw the photo oh Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. There, there is a time limit to this. All right. Okay, and my phone is about to die, so I don't have my timer. So okay. I'm just gonna have to, I'm gonna have to count in my head. In your head, I don't know what I did with my phone either. I don't know what I Tell did. What? With whoever is, whoever is not drawing, whoever is okay. not drawing does the countdown from twenty. Okay. All right. So and then you, you tell the person. Louder. No, you don't have to do it loud. Um, you have to tell the person who's drawing when to stop. Well, you know what I could do? I could do it with my uh, I could do it with my little stopwatch here on my on my watch. Here we go. Hang on. Let me see if it'll let me see if it'll work here. Hang on. And, and there's no warning. You have to say, okay, stop. You can't just say three, two, one. You can't give them a countdown. You have All to right. tell them to stop, and no matter what, they have to drop what they're doing. All right. Sounds good. Let me. Uh, that sound good. Sounds good. Uh, let me go back. All right. So I got the stopwatch here. So 20 seconds, right? Mm -hmm. All right, sounds good. Do you want me to go first? Do you want me to draw first, or do you want to draw first? You you draw first so that I can run this thing. Okay. Um, so, wait, hold on. I gotta I gotta I gotta think of what I'm gonna draw. All right. All right. Um, I'm actually gonna take do, um, yep. Okay, I got one. All right. So uh, hang on just a second. I took off my phone and it went into password protective mode all right so uh all right here it is 20 seconds on the clock you ready here we go three two one go right 10 seconds five four three Two, one, pencils down. All right. Oh man, this is All bad. Right. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Let me this see. Let me see what I can do this, here. This is bad. I, I gotta throw this back on my my wrist here so that because it can <laughs> mic it out on me. Let me see. Let me see if I do. I have a certain amount of time to guess or no? No, but we'll we'll keep it within reason. Okay, sounds good. This is um. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what I. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Oh, uh, that has got to be uh, Exodus with the uh, people of Israel going through the desert with the Shekinah glory, with the cloud pillar and the fire pillar. Bing! <laughs> All right. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> ding, ding. Ding, ding. Tim, wow. win. <laughs> Tim, win. That was good, man. All that right. Was, yeah. I was wondering if you'd get if you'd get that this was a cactus 
Oh yeah, I saw the cactus. That's right. That's the, yeah. I was like, I have to let him know if it was in the desert. Yes, yes, <laughs> that's amazing. All right, my man. All right, so, that's a point for you. All right, sounds good. Uh, let me let me just pause this really quick. All right, should I put twenty seconds on my clock? I'll count. I'll count down from twenty in my okay, head. Okay, you'll count down from twenty. All right, tell me when to go. 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 He's drawing furiously. Okay. And stop. All right, there we go. <laughs> this is terrible. This is going to be a terrible one. All right. Are you ready for this? Is this going to be really hard to see what it is? Okay. All right, here we go. I'm going to put it right up to the screen. Okay, so he's there's a there's a person who looks like he's dressed up as a ghost. There's a oh man, is he stomping on bodies? <laughs> that is is that a what's he saying? He looks like he's saying far <laughs> rar. Oh, he's roaring. Okay, wait a minute, he's roaring rar. That's a roar. Um, <laughs> that, oh man, he looks like he has a big old bump on his head. <laughs> that is. I'm a terrible Pictionary person. That is. As artistic as I am, I'm terrible. <laughs> I was going to say, does, does the person who draws gets the point or does the person who guesses gets the point? That's I don't... <laughs> I feel. I feel like if I guess this, you should be rewarded because that's like. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. So it's right. a terrible. I don't know. It's a terrible picture. There's there's obviously some death going on here. Yes. Uh, he is. Man, the the guy on the left, my left, probably your left, if you look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy's throwing me off. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder if that choice of a wardrobe is is intentional. If. But the roaring, roar. <laughs> I know. I, I started out with a hard one. I'll give you a, uh, you know yeah. That one, oh, man. I wonder if that's. It is Old Testament. I will I, give no, you that. I was, was going to say, yeah. I, it's, it's got to be either one of two things in my mind. Either that's not a person, that's a lion roaring. Maybe a, maybe a Daniel in the lion's den situation. Or, or. No, see if it was Goliath, it'd be, it'd be you made him super. You'd make him super tall. I don't know. Is it? Is it? Um. It's it's kind of an obscure passage. So I started with a hard one. So okay. it's a little obscure. A little obscure. Okay. It's one of my it's one of my favorite uh, passages. One of my favorite Old Testament stories. One um, of. Them. I am. Uh, all right, I got to give you an answer here because I can't be here all night. So. <laughs> Rar. <laughs> mm, he he's he's gotta be roaring. Is he oh you know what? Maybe oh maybe <gasps> is it Nebuchadnezzar? Mm. It's a good guess. But the bodies, why is it we would be stomping on the bodies? Alright, I'm gonna just I'm gonna throw out a guess. Is it Nebuchadnezzar? <laughs> Oh. It's, no, no, no. It's all right. I started with a hard one. I'm going to, I, you know, this is the story of Elisha. This is Elisha right here. He's bald. And this is a bear eating children. Yes. That was a very, very hard one. Rawr. You started out with a banger, right? I off know. That, I, I started, I came out with, I came out with guns blazing. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, read read that text. You know, wolf, I, dude. Wolf. I know, I know, but but you're right. It was some kind of animal. It didn't kind of look like a. But they were saying it looks like a bump on his head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a tough one, man. That was good. Hey, hey, that's all right. I think it's First Kings thirteen or something that was, like that. that I forget. Yeah. Really good. Well done. Yeah, absolutely. Well done. Hey, hey, what can you do? You know, but okay. I, I'll uh, have a good one for you next. I think you'll get the next one I that I'm thinking, but maybe maybe right. maybe uh maybe you'll uh 
you know, maybe you're thinking of the same one. I, I, I uh, yeah. All right. Um, I think I have my next one. All right. So I'm going to put uh, 20 seconds on the clock here. Okay. Are we ready, my man? Yep. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. I'm fixing this thing over here. All right, five seconds, three, two, one, stop. Oop, there we go, yeah. All right, do it, do it. Okay. Let's see. You know what, I think you might get this one. I think I have confidence in you on this one. All right, let's see. Let's see what this is. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, yes. That's got to be Samson at the end of his life in Judges breaking the pillars. He's got short hair, or the hair is kind of growing long there. Yeah. So, yeah. It's longer than I want it to be. Well, no, that's all right. No, but it, it's good. Very good. My yeah. name is Samson. I will break you. <laughs> I'm going to although, take you out with me. Although, I'm going to say this about Samson, and I always point this out whenever I preach on it. Nowhere. In the book of Judges, does it say that Samson was like, like this, like Arnold Schwarzenegger? I think, I think Samson, honestly, I think Samson was like, like a Gimli the dwarf from Lord of the Rings. That's what I think. I really believe that. You know, something along those lines. That's what I envision when I, when I, when I envision uh, Samson. You know, I know most people, you see him and he's always like, yes, yeah, look at my muscles. You know, put some oil on my muscles. <laughs> Get to the chapa. <laughs> Can you imagine it's like a Gimli lookalike? Yeah, but that's what I always think yeah, is, yeah. is like I think of I think of Gimli from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's he's over here, he's like, let him stay there, let him rot. Why should we care? You know, for some reason he's got a Scottish yeah. accent. <laughs> What's that? For some reason he's got a Scottish accent. Yeah, he's got a Scottish accent. Scottish he, accent. I I got the Scottish accent, even though he's even though he's a a Jew, you know. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> you know, but anywho, all right, I got I got a good one for you. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Say when. Go. Go. All right. Writing, writing. Good job. And stop. All right, there we go. Very good. So, you ready? Yes. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little, uh, little uh, something there with a guy. That that has to be. I'd be shocked if it wasn't Balaam and the talking donkey. Ding ding. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, good, that's a great one. Yes, yes, that was good. For those listening, it was a, it was a little, uh, what looked like almost like a little pig. It looks like uh, a mouse. Saying hi. <laughs> With the hugest nose of all time. The hugest nose of all time. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Hey, that was real good. Okay. I, I always love those obscure, like Old Testament passages like that. That's that's one of my favorites. But that's awesome. All right, my okay. man. Let's put. Uh, oh. 20 seconds on the clock here. Are you all I set? I, I think I, I got a tough one for me to draw, but I think it's worth it if you guess it. Okay. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Go. 10 seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one. All right. Uh, All right. Here we go. Okay. This will either be super easy or really hard. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. Let's see it. You sure? Oh, oh. Let's see. <laughs> for for those of you, he it's a little stick figure with like what looks like a little harp in his hand. Saying with a with a uh, a dialogue cloud, yippee, and it's got to be David. It's got to be David uh, singing uh, 
singing some psalms here. Is yeah, it? Am I right? Yeah, he's singing and dancing before the Lord. Singing and dancing before the Lord. Yeah, there, there we go. go. <laughs> that was a good one. That was great. That was good. All right. Yes, that was great. Okay. Excellent. All right, you ready? Are you, are you, are you ready? Yeah, I'll count you. I'll count your, your 20 seconds. You ready? All right. Say when, and, my man. Um, on your mark, get set, go. Scratching away, scratching away. Good job, good job, good job. All right. Coming down to the end here. And stop. All right. All right. You ready for this? You look like you're in the middle of a, of a, of a very important line. <laughs> I think you're going to get it. I think you're going to get it. Okay, go ahead. Here we go. Ooh, okay. This, <laughs> this, this has to be the story of... Um, not only Jesus walking on the water, he, there's, for those of you guys, there's, there's what seems to be wavy lines which indicate water, uh, a man with long, or a woman, no, it's a man with long hair, uh, <laughs> walking on the water, so that's the first dead giveaway, but then I think it's the story of Peter walking out on the water and uh, uh, being distracted about what's going on around him, he's sinking, and there's a dialogue bubble that says help, I think this is Peter sinking in the water, asking for Jesus' help after, after himself walking on the water at first, but then he sinks and Jesus rescues him. That's my final answer. Ding, ding. You got it. <laughs> I know for, for, our, uh, for our more reformed brethren who might, uh, please don't take that as a second commandment violation. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Obviously the stick figure with the uh, long hair uh, doesn't represent Jesus for or a, at all of what he looked like. So, uh, no, no. yeah, <laughs> yeah he, he, uh, he definitely had a more full figure than that. I, I would say more than the, than the stick and the, uh, couple of wavy lines that I put for his hair. <laughs> it was a lot, it was a lot more, um, more, um, uh, what's Robot. the word I'm looking for? Yeah. Uh, uh, nimble, uh, not nimble, um, a lot more, uh, bendy. He yes, could bend a little bit. He wasn't yes, as stiff. Flexible. Yeah. Flexible. <laughs> flexible. Yeah, uh, I, I could okay. have. I could have drawn. A, I I couldn't draw in twenty seconds the uh, the beautiful portrait that uh, Solomon's head of Christ that hung in our sanctuary for all those years. But uh, <laughs> all right, I got I got a, what could be a pretty tough one for you. All right, let's do it to it. Ready? All right, let me uh, let me get the uh, old stopwatch here back up. Are re, are you ready? Mm -hmm. We go. Three, two, one, go. Right. Ten seconds. Five. Scribbling furiously. Four, three, two, one. Eh. All right. Oh, man. This go. could be. Okay, this is challenging, I think. All right. Let's watch you'll get it within two seconds. Okay. Let me <laughs> You ready? Oh, yes. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, that's a, that's a toughie. Um, what, what I'm seeing here is a, what looks like a man with a goatee and longer hair, maybe Jesus, with what looks like, like markings around him, just the face. There's no body. Uh, and there's little markings around his head. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess, I'm going to make a, a wild guess here, that it is Jesus at the transfiguration. That is a great guess. Yes, that's my final answer. However, and I, know I probably however, got it wrong. But however, it's incorrect. Incorrect. What, 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 yeah. what was it? Do you have a second guess? What's my second guess? Let me see. Is it Jesus at his return? No. Oh man, it's tough. This is a, this is a hard one. This. Uh, let, let me. Let me right, I'll, I'll tell you this. It is not Jesus. It's not Jesus. Oh man. Looks like Jesus. If it was, it would be a very, very blatant. <laughs> it would be a blatant two CV. 
Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I'm. Uh, my reformed brethren. Yeah, the reformed brethren out there. We're doing a bunch of two CVs tonight. <laughs> uh, I, I was the first one, and I'm the pastor, so that's all right. But <laughs> the, uh, uh, huh. Um, it's not Jesus. No. I mean, I, I've already lost. I'm not taking any points for this. Um, I, there is, I will say this, uh, I, want, I don't want to give it away too much, but I'm, I'm going to have to give you hints at some point. Yeah. This was at a very important time at the beginning of Israel's history. Mm. And it involved a certain mountain. Oh, uh, oh, it's Moses. It's Moses when his face was glowing. Oh, there you, that was a good one. That was a great one. <laughs> that was a good one brother yeah because we all know that's what moses looked like yeah um, I, of course you know I mean, he, had a, he had a perfect oval <laughs> oval goatee that's right yeah no that's awesome that's awesome no that was a great one i can see how now i can see now how you could thought you could have thought easily that was jesus for sure right yeah no. <laughs> well i was just thinking like that it was at his transfiguration he was glowing it kind of looked like Right. You know, but yeah, hey, you know, what can you do? You know, right, you want you want to do a couple more and then call it quits? Let's let's do a couple more and call it quits. That cool. that that'll be a good one. Let me let me just let me, let me give me give me just a second to think of a good one. Um, because I'm trying to think. Uh, you know, um, let's do let's 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 break this one up. Let's do a let's do New Testament. Okay, all New Testament now. Okay, all right. The last ones will be New Testament. All right, the last ones are New Testament. Let's see. Let's see um, a good New Testament one. Um, okay. All right, I got one. Okay. Let's go. Let's do it, do it. You all ready, right. my man? And on your market set, go. All right. He knows exactly what he's doing, people. He's very confident in his his pen strokes here. He's look, drawing what looks to be a some sort of square shape. I, it's looking pretty good here. I can't really see what he's drawing, but I can see the way his pen is moving. It's very intentional. And stop. All right. There we go. All right. You ready for this? Okay. Go ahead. Right. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. Um, this, okay. There's uh, for those of you guys listening, there is what appears to be a jail cell. Uh, it is. Uh, oh man. I'm going to say there's two, what looks to be two men inside the jail cell. I'm, I want to say this is, is this, oh man, there's so many characters that could be in jail. Oh man, okay, okay, I got one I'm going to settle on. Is cool. this the story in Acts where the new church disciples are jailed for preaching in the temple and the angel lets them out? Yes, ding, 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 yes. Yeah, I wanted, to, I wanted to put more. I would have accepted, by the way, because it's the same. It's the same passage. I would have accepted also when Peter and John were thrown into jail as well, because there was only two of them there. But it's the same passage. So, ding ding. <laughs> yes. Boom. <laughs> Booyah. Yeah. <laughs> Booyah. <laughs> All right, we'll do. Um, I think I st did. I did. I draw the first one. Uh, I think you did. Yes. So we'll do me and then you, and then we'll be done. And then that's that. How, how, how are we doing as far as uh, pointage here? I didn't keep track of the points for this one. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. I didn't, no. know, how to, I didn't know how to score it because... Right. Nah, no worries. You know what I mean? If, if I guess your drawing, we should each get points, right? We should all get points. Yes, that's right. You know? Oh, guess what? It's a tie. <laughs> it's a tie. It's fine. You know, but it's still fun. Are yeah. you ready? Uh, I got, hold on. Uh, hold on. I, got, I got to finalize my, my thought right. here. Let me, let me just fix my cord again over here. It keeps falling. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize to our, to our listeners. Okay, I got, I got it. I got it. Cool. All right. Let's, uh, let's do it to it. 20 seconds on the clock. You ready, my man? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. 
He is scribbling furiously there. Absolutely. Got uh, about five more seconds here. Four, three, two. Ah! All right. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> let's let's see what we got. This is so bad. Okay. Ah! <laughs> All right. And this is New Testament here. New Testament. Oh, boy. All right. I'm going to make – wait a minute. Oh, wait a second. Let me, let me see here. So we got what looks like a paw <laughs> <laughs> coming down out of heaven uh, with some, with some uh, claws on it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh what looks like a uh what looks like a uh I don't know why I have this in my mind but it immediately popped in like a dog dish with like <laughs> water on it uh <laughs> like two dogs paws fighting over a bowl of water uh let me let me see here I no I got to think through this for a second we got uh okay it almost I I want to man um New Testament. This is this is this is a hard one, man. I'm sorry. I made this hard. No, no, no. I, I I'm trying to think here. I, I I I'm just trying to figure out. It, it's it's like two like one coming in from the top for those listening. What looks like it's like a like a little hand, or a paw, <laughs> and then like another hand coming in from the side over here. Paw. <laughs> yeah. I keep describing it as a paw because that's what it kind of looks like. Uh, and then, and then, uh, and then, but it can't be. Huh. Wow. All right, I'll give you a hint. Yeah. This right here is key to the story. That is key to the story. Huh. The bottom part is, is the, bottom the key, part, which the looks key like, to the story. Which is a couple wavy lines. With well, one big wavy line with like a square bottom on the bottom with like a circle coming up and around on it. Boy, oh boy. Um, I want to say like, okay, is this like, like in Revelation when like it talks about like the believers being sawn asunder or... <laughs> Or uh, you know, say, you know, in Revelation, in Revelation twenty nine, where yeah, where the Almighty Paw comes down, and the Almighty Paw comes from one of the great beasts that are listed. You know, uh, you know the the the, uh, the crazy beasts in Revelation. Yeah, crazy yeah. beasts. That's what it looks like. Oh man, man, I I am blanking here. Uh, that is that is interesting. Uh, I made this unnecessarily difficult for you. <laughs> No, I, uh, boy, oh boy. Oh, man. Um, oh, man. Let me, uh, because at first, like, what I was thinking was, is that it's like a hand and, like, like, okay, it's like Jesus's hand being crucified, like, with a nail in it. Okay. I, that, that's what I was, like, thinking. But then, I'll, like, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a hint. Okay. Yeah. This right here. Yeah. That is indeed water. That is water. That's what I was thinking was water. Um, is it? Oh wait, wait. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a guess. And again, if I get this, I don't get it because you you gave me too many clues. But is it the baptism of Jesus with like the Father, the Son, and the Spirit all together? Because what looks like now that I'm thinking, no, it's not. Man, then I don't know, man. Oh man, water. Oh man, let me. Let, uh, Father, the Son, and the Spirit with water. Uh, I will give you another hint. Wait, wait, wait. Is it Jesus? Wait, wait. wait. Let me before you say. Is it the? Is it Jesus? Uh, sleeping in the bottom of the boat, like with uh, with them, with, with the storm going on on the Sea of Galilee. Oh man. Okay, give me another hint. One of these is not a hand. One of these is not. But one of them is. One of them and is. And both, both appendages are human. Oh, 
both appendages are human in water. Oh, so there's two different appendages. Ah. And they do not belong to the same person. Oh, they're washing the feet. Hey! Oh! It's when Jesus washed the feet of the disciples. Ah! <laughs> See, I wasn't far off with the paw. You know? <laughs> it looks like he's washing them with dirt. <laughs> that was great. That was a good one. That was great. That was rough, man. I'm sorry. Rough one. No, no, that's great. That's excellent. Okay, this is the last one. I like that. Oh, this is the last one, huh? Yeah, we'll do the last one. This is the last All one. All right. Last one here. Give me a second. Let me think of a good one. Because, uh, man, it's going to be hard to top wa washing the feet. Um, <laughs> uh, you know? Um, that was oh, a tough man. one, man. You, that you, you do not have a lot to go on with that one. All right. Um, I think I have one. It's going to be a little tough for me to draw. Uh, I but, like it. Uh, Let's do it. All right, let's do it to it. G give me the 20 seconds. Tell me, tell me what. Go. Hear the squeak of the Sharpie. He's very intently drawing. Halfway there through the 20 seconds. Coming up towards the end here. He's just about done. And stop. All right, there we go. Are right, you ready for this? I'm ready. Do it. All right, here we go. Ooh, okay. We have some squiggly lines. We have what looks to be a chalice or goblet of some sort. <laughs> and I think I'm getting an idea. <laughs> Is this the wedding at Cana? Water into wine? Too easy. You already got it. <laughs> Booyah! <laughs> That was great. Oh. <laughs> you got it. You got that one too quick, my man. That was great. That was good. I, uh, I, I, cause it was the, it was the water equals wine. You know what I mean? So wedding of Cana. There we go. That was good. That was hey, you know, it's just what popped in the head. You know, I but think, uh, uh, the gospelicious games got off to a nice start tonight. It's a good one. We're gonna have to do this again. Yeah, that was good. That was fun. But what we should do is we should we should invite some folks in on this, and uh, and both of us get the get the quiz the other folks on this. This would be good, a good Zoom COVID uh, activity for the future. Oh, Gospelicious Games Volume Two will feature right. some guests. <laughs> I got a couple of guests in mind. I think it'd be really fun. Absolutely, my man. That's great. Yeah. That was fun. Well, guys, that was really fun. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in and watching and listening to Gospelicious Radio, Episode Fifty Three. Uh, that was a fun night tonight, Pastor Tim. Thank you very much. Thank you, brother. That was great. Uh, so, guys, check out Tim's Theology Thursday. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. What were you going to say? No, no, I was just going to say, glad to invite us down for game night down to uh, the 90s paradise down here. You know. There you go. <laughs> yes. I have my own little paradise here. It's kind of messy at the moment, but... Uh, <laughs> you know, praise God, my man. Yeah. Down here too. We're, we're, we're in each other's basements. How's that? Yeah. Hey, hey, we got <laughs> to. That's desperate times call for desperate measures, my man. There you go. There you go. Uh, so, guys, check out Tim's Theology Thursday, where Pastor Tim uh, runs through the book of Revelation. We're doing a Bible study. It is awesome. I highly recommend checking it out. It's really good. He spent right. about 20 to 30 minutes uh, per, per session. Uh, and, Pastor Tim, do you have any, uh, any thoughts to add on, on your ongoing study through Revelation? Yeah, I meant to have one last week. I had some technical problems and a few pastoral things that came up, so I do apologize for not getting one out. It's periodic, um, so it's not like it's weekly, but whenever it comes out, we're happy to have one. Right, amen. And so, Lord willing, I'm going to try and have one out by probably tomorrow evening, and uh, and so it probably won't be as early as the others. But uh, We always but, give you guys uh, notices when it's going to come out, so keep your right. eyes open to our socials. We'll announce when a, when a new Tim's Theology Thursday is coming out. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll definitely do some gospelicious games coming up too. I think that'll be really fun. I think it'll be a fun COVID activity. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Guys, check out our merch. We have stickers and t-shirts and coasters and all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, if you guys buy anything, uh, we always, uh, it'll always go either right to the podcast. Any proceeds will go to the podcast or to a cause that we're supporting. Uh, as of now, I think I can safely say that any proceeds that we make on anything right now will go toward COVID relief in our community. Amen. So we'll, uh, we'll donate it to a local food pantry or anything like that. So buy some Gospelicious merch and you'll be helping your community as well. Um, 
Also, guys, check out our social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Find our videos on YouTube. Uh, all audio versions of this podcast are on iTunes, Podomatic, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, iHeartRadio. Tune in where all your podcasts are offered. Okay? Subscribe, like, share. All that good stuff, guys. Drop a Macho Man elbow on that notification bell. Okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, brother. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Drop it right on that notification bell so that you guys do not miss an episode of Gospelicious Radio. We've done 53 of these, and we're going to do 53 more, God willing. So uh, spread the Gospelicious word, people. people. Okay? Spread it. Spread it. Like butter. Like That's butter. Cool. <laughs> guys thank you thank you thank you once again for tuning in this was a really fun a fun time tonight uh so until next time for pastor tim howard i'm actually gonna bring somebody in uh to do the outro for me really quick hang on a second let me get him hang oh on. a special hang guest on. outro special guest outro oh should i should i start again <laughs> for, for, for pastor tim howard and president donald trump yes Tune into the best podcast, the most tremendous, tremendous podcast ever next week. You won't believe it. It's amazing. China. <laughs> China. <laughs> <laughs> Just the way says the word China. Bless my friends. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. I hope I totally didn't offend people by, uh, by bringing Donald Trump on. I know he's a divisive character, but <laughs> we, we, we may have lost half our viewers because of that. But thank you, thank you, Pastor. Appreciate that. Uh, on behalf of, of the president and Pastor Timothy Howard, uh, this is Adam Miner. Guys, have a good one. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye now. Bye now. <laughs>